Good morning and welcome back to the oscillations. We are studying the energy of a particle which is exhibiting the simple harmonic motion. Now in order to study the energy of a particle performing simple harmonic motion, I consider a particle of mass m. I consider a particle of mass m which is performing simple harmonic motion along this line POQ. POQ is the line along which the particle under consideration is performing simple harmonic motion about this mean position O. O is considered as the mean position about which the particle is performing to and fro motion uh, that is from P to Q through O. Force acting on such a particle is given by the expression F is equal to minus Ky. Force acting on such a particle exhibiting simple harmonic motion about a mean position O is F is equal to minus Ky where K is called force constant and Y is the displacement at any instant of time. And such a particle performing simple harmonic motion about the mean position is said to possess both potential energy and kinetic energy. It will possess both energies. Now, let us consider the particle at the mean position O and if the particle at the mean position O is displacing from O through a distance dy. Let this distance is taken as equal to dy the displacement of the particle over a short interval of time. Let this is dy, the displacement of the particle from the main position, dy. Then work done to displace the particle from the main position O through a distance dy is given by work done is equal to force into displacement. Is given by the expression work done is equal to force into displacement. Now. We know f is equal to minus ky, therefore dw becomes minus ky into dy. In order to displace the particle from the main position to point P, that is to, to one of the extreme end, the total work done is obtained by integrating this expression, that is f is equal to or, or dw equals dw equals minus ky dy. This is the small amount of work done in displacing the particle over a small distance. Total work done in displacing the particle from point O to the extreme end point P is obtained by integrating this relation between the limits of integration 0 and y. At the main position O, the displacement is 0. At point P, the displacement is y. Therefore, w equals integral of integral of 0 to y minus ky dy where minus ky is minus k is constant integral of y dy will be y square by 2 so even after substituting the limits of integration the total work done is given by minus k minus half ky square and this work done is stored as the potential energy of the particle under simple harmonic motion and that work done is given by the expression u equals half k y square half k y square or u maximum that is the maximum and, uh, and this expression gives the potential energy at y in the sense at, at any displacement now coming to the maximum potential energy possessed by the particle, the maximum displacement will be equal to y, y equals a, maximum displacement of the particle y will be, y maximum is nothing but equal to a, which is the amplitude, which is the amplitude. And therefore, in, in case of y, u max is equal to half k y square max, so in case of in place of y max square, I have written a square. But we know that omega square is equal to k by m. Omega square is equal to k by m. Therefore, 
therefore k equals m omega square therefore u max is equal to half m omega square s square where m is mass of the particle omega is the angular velocity or the angular frequency and a is the amplitude that is the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position similarly the kinetic energy of the particle is given by k equals half m v square where m is the mass v is the linear velocity with which the particle is moving now we know that velocity of the particle at a distance y from the mean position e is given by the expression v equals omega into square root of a square minus v square s square minus y square therefore k equals half m omega square into a square minus y square represents the kinetic energy of the particle at any instant of time kinetic energy of the particle at any instant of time therefore the total energy is the sum of kinetic and potential that is e equals half m omega square into a square minus y square this is kinetic plus half m omega square y square this is potential simplifying we get a equals half m omega square to a square m omega square is m omega square is nothing but equal to k therefore this is equal to half k square k a square or rewriting omega as equal to 2 pi f omega is equal to 2 pi f omega square becomes 4 pi square f square therefore e can also be written as equal to 2 pi square m f square a square where pi is constant m is mass of the particle free and f is the frequency with which the particle is oscillating and a represents the maximum displacement or otherwise known as amplitude and this graph represents the variation of the potential energy and kinetic energy with reference to displacement right this is wo the mean position this is the extreme end at the extreme end the kinetic energy is zero at the mean position the kinetic energy is maximum the kinetic energy from one of the extreme end one of the extreme the kinetic energy at one of the extreme end is minimum and it reaches maximum and minus here represents the amplitude plus here represents the amplitude at the opposite end and here the kinetic energy is zero as the particle moves towards the mean position the kinetic energy gradually increases and it reaches maximum at the mean position again it decreases as it moves away from the mean position and towards the other extreme end and at the other extreme end it again becomes zero similarly coming to potential energy at one of the extreme end the potential energy is maximum as the particle moves towards the mean position the potential energy decreases decreases as it reaches mean position the, the potential energy becomes zero zero and and again as it moves away from the mean position the potential energy increases and reaches maximum when it reaches the other extreme end and as a whole the total energy of the particle will always remain the constant in the sense the potential energy gets converted into kinetic and kinetic energy gets converted into potential energy as it moves to and fro thank you